property. Do not do anything to this guy physically. Words are words, and only use words. Tucker, I have to say that disclaimer. Well, that's I, you know you don't have to say that. Your yes, lawyer no, no, is no. telling you to say no, that. No, 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 no. And I'm I telling think you, that's the silliest thing. There's no court order telling you to say that. I'm, I mean, that's ridiculous. I'm t- okay, you know what then? Well, we're then in you, court then, right then, now because if, of it. If you want to go ahead and continue my legal bill, I'd love to take your check. No, 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 no. I'm not. Look, I'm not. You're missing. It. I'm not criticizing you for doing it. I'm saying it's wrong that we live in a society where you feel like you have to do that to, to, Tucker, to save yourself. Tucker, words, I have to because you know what? Society will punish me and I will be held liable. In fact, Brent, I wasn't supposed to say this, but I've been given information that him and his little cohorts are already planning somebody to beat him up in a parking lot one day and put Bubba Army. Well, of course. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong with this whole line of thinking. But, you know, I, I just... It's like, it's the, 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 do you know what the face so, act is? But, but hold on, the Tucker. Act, what, what, I mean, Brent, what Brent and I are trying like to say. People what, have a right to protest. They have a right to but disagree. What Brent they have and a right I, to dissent. But what Brent and, and, and I are trying to say. this is a way to crush that right. But what Brent and I are trying to say is this. We 100% agree with you in the fact that words should not be held. We understand that. But historically, we can show you cases of it happening. So, since we've done it, since we have case law of it happening, and since I'm going through that now, why stop at a man that's been murdered? We might as well continue it on. Right, right? I, I, yeah, exactly. Because it's wrong. No, that's let me, why. Because let me give you an wrong. example. I mean, I don't care if every single person in America buys that absurd, tenuous connection between opinion and violence. I don't. And I just think it's wrong. And I don't think, I don't want to, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you have a right to have a dissenting view and to criticize the actions of other people and there's a huge and obvious and bright but, line between opinions and violence. Brent, I'm going to get to you in a second. You're Brent's next. He's I, been having a comment here. But, Tucker, history will show that we've been hypocritical in that ruling and that's a problem. And I agree, Tucker, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I'm sick, yeah, I'm, sick, I'm sick at my stomach at some of the people that have gotten in trouble over words and they pick and choose as to when they throw the book at that guy. Bring it over to you. So what? So tell me this. In 1993, the World Trade Center was bombed. The blind shake is in federal prison for that. And he had uh, nothing to do with it other than words, other than preaching to his followers that America is evil. Now, that's not, that's not what he was convicted of, Brent. And that's, that's not what Charles Manson was convicted of but, either. But, but, they were convicted hang on. of conspiracy. They were convicted of planning, of doing something. Not of expressing their opinions, but of actively sitting. Now, whether they're guilty or not, I'm not, whatever. I mean, that's a whole different argument. But I'm just telling you, the law says you cannot sit down and plan a crime. But their okay. religion, their religions, like just like in the far right Christianity, just like in the conservative Islam, when their imam or the preacher calls somebody demonic and a murderer, it says to those people, "This person needs to be stopped." Okay, well, and, I mean, and when, you know, when Bin Laden, I don't think you're, you're not fully accountable for the way your words are interpreted by people. You know, you're just not. I'm sorry if I get up on TV and say, you know. I don't care for Barack Obama, and someone takes violent action against him. That's, I mean, that's... That, that's completely different. That, but Tucker, it's Tucker, not, Tucker. Actually, look, but here, here's just a very narrow point I'm making. In Under American law, words are not criminal. Actions are. And the people you've mentioned were convicted, wrongly or not, of actions, of conspiracy, of conspiring, of plotting, of planning, of setting down, uh, sit, sitting down and figuring out a way to hurt someone else, even though they didn't, as you pointed out, pull a trigger... They were convicted of planning it, and nobody's accused Bill O'Reilly of being in concert with this uh, I never said, murderer. I never right? said Bill O'Reilly. I said Randall Terry. And I oh, think, Randall Terry. Whatever. I, I think I mean, Randall look, Terry has you know, done exactly what's going on, and that is that people who support abortion hate Randall Terry, and they're trying to shut him up because they disagree with him. And I just, I just, I'm not for that. I'm, you know, I may or may not agree with Randall Terry. But I think Randall Terry has a constitutional right to express his position. I really believe that. And, and, and then the people that get on and say this is a lone wolf, there's a guy named Tom Metzger out of Indiana. And there's a documentary. Oh, no, out of Warsaw, Indiana. Out of Warsaw, Indiana. My exactly. Yeah, he's a nutcase. Yeah, hold, on, okay. hold on, hold on. He lives, hold on. He lives six tenths of a mile from my mother. <laughs> Wow. I saw him yeah. in Warsaw, Indiana. I guess, is there a Best Western there? Yes. There's a Best Western there, and he had a meeting. Now, they couldn't show the faces of the people in the meeting other than Mr. Metzger. And Tom Metzger sat there and gave an instructional to, quote-unquote, lone wolves, which they're not if they're in that meeting with Mr. Metzger, to do these types of things. 
So, okay, well then, Mr. Metzger and sounds he, like he's in trouble and he ought to be. But, but he's that's not. That's very different from getting up and expressing an unpopular opinion. And that's what, you know, that's what Randall Terry was doing. Unless there's evidence I haven't seen, unless Randall Terry, you know, was on the phone with this guy saying, let's, you know, let's take out George Tiller, Randall Terry has a constitutional right to offend us. I'm not talking about his pub, what he does in public. I'm talking about what he does in private. Do you, do you think that this, these violent acts caused by anti-abortionist terrorists, the 1996 bombing of the Olympics, the bombing of the Birmingham Clinic that killed a police officer, uh, the doctor, Dr. Gunn that was shot in the back in Pensacola, all those things are... It's, it, there's a historical precedent that these things go on now and that it leads to... But, so now, hold on, but hold on, hold on, Brent. Here's my stance, okay? Here's my stance. I know you have your opinion, but this is the show's stance, okay? Tucker's right, I'm telling you. Because the bottom line is, you know, words without specific instructions are simply words. They're, I mean, they're simply words and of, an, of, of an opinion. And, and nobody, no, you know, no one, you know, had they can prove actually instructed this guy... To kill the doctor, just like we don't ever. Ins- I've never instructed anybody to beat up MJ ever. Right. Never, ever, ever would I do that. In fact, I've gone even further by saying simply give him your verbal opinion. So you know, it- unless they can prove that this guy specifically gave instructions or a how to to the to to kill this doctor, you know, Tucker's argument's right. No, I know that's why Tom Metzger's walking free and living you know a half a mile from your mom, yeah, six tenths of a mile. So I mean, Tucker, the, the, the Tom Metzger nut job. When you have when you have uh, meetings at Best Westerns and you give you know instructions and how and how to, that's certainly a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you're plotting to hurt somebody, that's conspiracy and it's a crime, and it's also wrong. By I mean, the way, it's, it, it's just to me, it's just such a slippery slope and such a hypocritical slope that we yeah, live but, on. Yeah, but here's and look, this this is all decided on a case-by-case basis. It's impossible to make generalities. It's impossible to use historical trends uh, as a basis for convicting someone. Each one of these decided individually. But it's so important as we think this through to remember that people have a, a constitutional right, and it's the most important right we have, to say unpopular things. Well, I mean, that's the premise of my show in itself. I mean, I don't just... Exactly. I mean, I don't... That's exactly right. So I can't stand this attempt to tie uh, people who oppose abortion to the murder of George Tiller. Uh, now, now, hold on. I, and, and by the way, George Tiller was a pig. So, uh, I'm sorry he was murdered. I'm not, I, I think it's awful. I don't think, uh, society falls apart when you allow that kind of stuff. I'm against it. But that doesn't make George Tiller a good person. He wasn't. I don't I, think, I, just, I, I totally I, disagree I, I, with I, Well, first of all, hold on. I, I agree in the fact that I think George Tiller was a pig. But, Tucker, unfortunately, because, I mean, the third trimester and some of the things like that. But, Tucker, I mean, un- un- for, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, you know, he was doing a job, uh, you know, that our Supreme Court had, you know, has, has deemed that it's, that he can do. Uh, yeah, but, I agree. And so he, That's right. he is a pig. But, but he is a pig. I do understand that he, you, you, you can still have your opinion about him being a pig. Yeah. So I mean, you know, but I get I get it and I understand and I and I agree with you. But I mean, I think that some of these, you know, right to lifers uh, have taken it just to uh, why they. How ironic is it that they shot the guy in a church? I mean, well, look, any, this, come this, on. I'm not. I, I'm not. Uh, look, the guy who killed him did a horrible thing for which he will be punished. And by the way, in doing that, he really hurt. The anti-abortion movement. Yeah, he did. You think this helps? It no. hurts. No, he didn't. Kidding? You're right. It's You're... terrible for for anti-abortion people. So, you know, there's nothing good about what the guy did, and I'm not defending it. I'm just really worried about the effect on free speech. That you've already seen the Face Act, which passed in, in I think '95, that prohibited protesting outside abortion clinics. How can you prohibit protesting? I don't think I should. I, I think I, I think you're 100 percent right. Yeah, as long as it's public property. Yeah, as long as yes, it's public. Yeah, and it was, and they because they try to conflate words with action. Your words set a climate for violence. It's like the same as sexual harassment. You're creating a hostile workplace. No, I'm expressing my opinion, and I'm sorry if you can't deal with it, but that doesn't make me a criminal. I agree. I 100 percent agree. Now, hey, the minute you can prove that those words were, you know, uh, actions, then you throw the book at that at that particular case. Right. At that particular case. It's, uh, the, the left hates free speech, and I don't care what. The, they're the ones who have taken 